MBTA's Fiscal and Management Control Board is set to reveal an updated proposal to plan service cuts after a month of public hearings. Those cuts have been criticized, you may remember, by local leaders who say they go too far. Boston 25 News reporter Michael Henrik, he's live at City Hall Plaza this morning, and Michael, Boston's mayor, is among those pushing back. Boston Mayor Marty Wallace plans to speak out against these cuts, Daniel, in the 9 o'clock hour this morning, saying that these cuts are too far and too drastic. Now, the service cuts are wide-ranging, as proposed by the MBTA. And let me take you through some of what's included so far. A reduction in the frequency of bus and subway runs. It would stop ferry service altogether in some aspects. It would end commuter rail service on weekdays at 9 p.m., and it would end weekend commuter rail service altogether. Now, the MBTA says the pandemic has changed the way so many people live and work, so that's also altered their commutes, leading to drastically lower ridership and therefore revenue. Now, the T's Fiscal and Management Control Board was supposed to vote today. Instead, that vote has been pushed back a week, and they'll take additional public comment instead at this morning's meeting in the 11 o'clock hour, Daniel. And Michael, the T's budget deficit is in the tens of millions of dollars and is projected to hit hundreds of millions of dollars next year. So if the T is running out of money because of fewer people writing it, what else can be done besides these proposed service cuts? Of course, it depends who you ask, but for months now, transportation and community advocates, Daniel, have been calling for more federal and or state aid. They say that you have to prop up public transit during the lean times in order to have a full economic recovery once a vaccine is widely available. Unfortunately, from those advocates' perspective, no additional federal or state aid has come. We'll hear what the mayor has to say about all of this coming up in actually just a few hours. Michael Henrik, live at City Hall Plaza for us this morning. Thank you. Hey guys, not sure if you've heard this or not, but if you do not have a speeding ticket and you haven't had a DUI, you can get your car insurance for as low as like $19 a month.